all my internet friends. It's Steve from Steve K's Vaping World. I've got an interesting vape haul because um, this is something that's not a uh, regularly available consumer product. Um, I had a, uh, a guy I know, uh, a local vape shop, uh, Mountain Hook Vapors in Knoxville, um, do a little body work for you. And I just, uh, he did such an awesome job. I thought I would uh, brag about it a little bit here. Um, so right after the break, I'll take a look at uh, my new little Frankenstein toy here. All right, so what we got, um, you might remember the um, phased box mods, uh, Steampunk. Um, there's probably a video down here in the library for it. Um, that ran on a DNA 20 board. Um, truth be told, I kind of uh, fell out of love with the box, didn't really like the style. You know, it's basically now towards tin box. Um, and what I also had was a uh, uh, Inna I Taste MVP. Um, the, this is the version 2. I had a version 1 that went wonky on me, the button went out on it. So I had the brilliant idea to combine the two. Uh, problem being, not not really good on the actual um, handiwork skills. Uh, so so the, I kind of took everything apart and looked at all the parts and I had the MVP kind of scattered around and it sat there um, until I, I was talking to the manager of one of our local vape, vape, vape shops here, Mountain Oak, Oak Vapors. I have a talking problem this evening, I apologize. Um, anyway, I con conned Nick over there into uh, taking care of this for me, so I'm just kind of show it off here. You might notice these aren't the typical um, eye taste version one colors. Um, that's because also conveniently, uh, one of the customers there um, does powder coating, so we enlisted his expertise. So we have a really, really beautiful. And you, the camera doesn't justify this. Um, but it's a, just a beautiful shiny power coat, um, the, kind of the green of the logo of my website on the body, and they even powder coated the top caps so a nice black, uh, it just looks sweet. Um, so in here is the DNA 20, it kept a lot of the guts of the MVP were kept, so we've got the, the charging thing, the output charger no longer works, but it still charges by the USB port. Um, fire button uses the stock. Interestingly, I didn't realize the MVP one's fire button was flush. Uh, did lose the nifty three color um, power indicator that they have, but we gained, of course, and of course it's upside down. We gained all the beautiful goodness of the MVP 20. Um, so as you can see here, kind of rocking it. This is, um, you know, more than enough power even to kick one of these old school dual coil cardo tanks around. Um, so performance is great, just like it was for the phase box mod, because it's the same thing, just in a much, much prettier package. Um, if my, my buddies at any kid are listening, they need to get a hold of the Evolve folks and start making DNA MVPs, because these things are awesome. They would fly off the shelves. Um, for the uh, I kind of apologize for making a pointless vape haul, but I really, really wanted to give some credit to, to the people who put some work on this, because um, it's just a really amazing product. If you happen to be local, you might want to check them out, see uh, you know what what they can do. They've uh, got a couple of good things going on. If not, you know, I have much respect for you guys that can actually build stuff like this, so shout out to all of you. Um, anybody else, you have a local vape shop, um, check with them. Maybe they've got some mad modders hiding behind the counter, too. Otherwise, uh, this is Steve, Steve K's Vaping World. I'll check you all later.